good view, baby. Now that is a breakfast for champions. I already flushed it down. Now like they're good oysters. You can tell instantly when you open the pack. <laughs> now we are caravan life, yeah. So oh, there's no yeah. like oyster fork, but we do have a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. There was that. How is it? Good view, baby. Beautiful. I think you're talking about me. <laughs> but always, you know, I love your view. Just quickly before we go to town, what are you making? <laughs> I know Alex can't concentrate when Scarlett's doing that, so let me get Scarlett down and then we can have a chat. I am making <laughs> pesto eggs with yep. chili cream cheese and mozzarella. Yummy. Look how good it looks though. Beautiful. Outside? No, the food. Oh. It's amazing. It's blowing about 40 knot winds. Last night it was really windy. windy. The wind here for the next like week is between like 40 and 60 kilometers every day and it's just it's just too hard like with rock and we do a lot of outdoor cooking too so so we're going to Yikla WA. WA and it's hard too because we want to spend our times on the beach we're going to get windy days you can't help it if the if the wind's coming straight off the water it is what it is so we'll just move until you know we find a little pocket where it's nice on the beach where there's no wind that's basically what we have to do now that is a breakfast for champions. Brunch is served. You're the best, baby. It's I'm hungry. Alex. All right, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna see you guys in town. And we don't even know if there is a town here. There has to be something if they're the oyster people. I'm getting oysters. You yeah, stay tuned oysters. for that. We're gonna rate their oysters. So we're gonna go find them. We found a dump point. Oh, I can smell it from here. I already flushed it down. You can see the second flush. Can you close the door for Scarlet Lake? We're going to Euclid tomorrow, so so this is our last day here. Well, we've only been here for pretty much one day. We're that much closer to Ningaloo Coast, and that's where we're going. Can you open my door so I can sterilize, please? What's wrong? Baby, if I got a dump, you gotta like be like to cater after the dump, yeah? I didn't know your like, shit smelled that bad. Demi... Didn't you do a shit in there this time? Never. I haven't shitted in the. Do you, know, do you not do that? It's going on in the car, bar. Do you know I've never took a shit in a caravan on this trip? You know, it's funny because Luke says that and then last night he's sitting there playing with Aria and he goes, can you feel that? And Aria feels his leg and there's like this little thing in there. He could feel something biting him. So he pulls down his pants and there was like this like centipede millipede thing that was biting him from when he shitted. It went into his pants. No, thank you. So this is where they get the oysters from. We're only gonna get six oysters and see what they taste like. Thanks buddy. No Cheers bro, see you later. All right, we've got the oysters. 15 bucks for six oysters, so yeah. Got him. 15 bucks. They smell like you know a good oyster smell. Not really. <laughs> what do you mean oysters can either smell like shit? Right. You got um, something to clean that with. Oh, I'm glad you like <laughs> this <stuff. laughs> Um, I think the best way to handle this is you jump out, grab the oysters out the door, shake it off, and I'll wipey wipe. Yeah. Sorry, babe. Right. 
I really want to hold them now. I'm a bit worried. I think I should be banned from holding the oysters. Mom, are we hungry for oysters? She wants one. Just give her what I want. I will. Mm -hmm. Do you know that oysters are natural aphrodisiacs? <laughs> Do you reckon they are though? What does aphrodisiac mean? Get jiggy jiggy with it. <laughs> well, that hasn't been a problem on this trip. <laughs> Stressing out last night because I was like, man, it's so windy. We're on top of this hill, and I was scared that something was going to break on the caravan. But it did well last night. Forty kilometer winds it can handle so far. So that's what we've done. What's that? Reached forty k's. I actually last night. enjoyed the wind in the van last night. Did ya? Yeah. Do you I was know just why? A bit worried. I was worried about the Starlink like, pole. I'd go to wake up, and then I'd feel this. It's like someone was rocking me to sleep all night. I loved I didn't it. Like it. I couldn't sleep. I went to bed like two in the morning. So the night before, I thought that we were going to roll down the hill. No. Yeah. Was it the night before? No, that was McLaren Vale. So in the last week, I haven't been able to sleep because I thought that the van was unlevel and that we were going to roll down the hill. And I thought the wheel chugs had moved. And then last night, Luke thought we were going to lose our Starlink. He couldn't sleep. I thought the Starlink was just going to smash. And every little thing I heard, I was like, huh? <laughs> stressing for nothing. I was just saying to Luke, obviously tomorrow we are going through the Nullarbor, which is so exciting and it's so exhilarating to see the Nullarbor, hey. I don't know what to expect. I half, no, nah, I didn't even half. I quarter know what to expect. Like I know that it's all cliff edge. And there's only- How far is the campsite from the cliff edge? 40, 50 meters. I know it's cliff edge. I'm a little bit worried with the kids and rock. And after this campsite, so Eucla, we're going to be staying at for probably four or five nights. Once that's done, we're in the desert. Great Australian desert. We are hitting to get Red towards soil. the Ningaloo Reef Cove. But the other quick point to make is the one thing I didn't organize enough before we left is shoes for Aria. So I said to Luke, Luke, what are you wearing? Show me. Crocs! Look how dusty they are, man. <laughs> Bad. They're so dusty. I gotta get Ari a pair of Crocs. Yeah. You agree? Yeah. Have to get her a pair of Crocs. And I'm also thinking a pair of like beach shoes. Ningaloo is gonna be very hot and like Shark Bay, Monkey Maya, the sand's gonna be hot cause it's hot there. So I wish that I organized them and I'm spewing I didn't. Work it out when we get there, I guess. But for anyone that is with kids on the road, sand shoes, Crocs, something that's versatile. The other thing that I'm worried about with crossing the WA border tomorrow, and anyone that is a parent will be able to relate with this, is the time difference. So when we get there, it's saying that there's like, I think it's a three hour time difference behind. Now, usually we're getting to a campsite, we're setting up, we give Scarlett dinner, within an hour she's down to bed. <laughs> but when we get there, I think that the GPS today, like when I looked at it, it was saying that we'd get there around about 3.30. So it was about a six hour drive, which means that it was 12 o'clock or 12.30 WA time. It's gonna be a bit of an adjustment to get the girls into a bedtime routine again. But it's all part of it and I'll share it all on this channel and through our vlogs as well like like we said we just want to share the first time experience of it all and hopefully there is a couple of people that are watching that are about to start their trip or thinking about their trip that will either gain confidence in it or learn something to look out from from what we're doing so <laughs> Like they're good oysters, you can tell instantly when you open the park. 
they smell good, they feel good. Mm. <laughs> now, we are caravan life, yeah? So, Sorry, there's no yeah. like oyster fork, but we do have a teaspoon, do we? Yeah. It's a scarlet uh, food. You uh, go spoon. first. I go first. Can I, I like the smaller ones. I don't like the big juicy ones. Excuse me. Right, I'm going to go this one. I want to hear the slip. I'm going gonna this happen. one. I wish we could do it together, but we only got do one. Do it together. Uh. Ready? I want to hear it. <laughs> uh, one. And they're pretty good too. They're pretty big. Yeah. I could have done them for longer, but it is what it is. It is what it is, man. There was that. How is it? Yummy, fresh. I knew they were going to be good oysters. I'm hanging. Hold on, my turn. Oh, hey. My turn, my turn, my I'm turn. I'm going to say nothing now. Don't tell me. I'm going to go this one to begin with. Tip some of the sauce out of there. Oh Make sure she's all moist. How good are they? They're good. If you guys come to Seduna, get, the get an oyster. Oh my Ready? god. I'm just gonna suck mine like that. I think that's one of the freshest oysters I've had. It's not like fatty and stringy yeah. and really like seafoody tasty. You know that like that sometimes the yucky oyster taste you can get. Look how when big it goes the oysters yellow? are. I reckon I can suck it fresh. You ready? Let's suck it together. And if you come to Seduna, is it Seduna or Sedina? Sedina? Sedina, Seduna, uh, South Australia, get their oysters. Kilpatrick. What are they called? Kilpatrick. 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 Ready? Cheers. One, two. Mmm. Mmm. Careful, it's a natural aphrodisiac, yeah? What does that mean? I already told you to. <laughs> Mordgizia. <laughs> That's very oh, usual. Mordgizia. So spewing. That's okay, Mordgizia. No! Oh. <laughs> 